I'm That's why nobody here is respectful. Me. Exactly, because you're not respectable. I mean, you're not respectable. I mean, the way you, you talk to women is me. disgusting. Like, well, I mean, if you want to go, you can go. Disgusting. Like, well, yeah. I mean, you're masculine. You're fat. You're, you're overweight. And hey. It is insecure about a woman's body count my friends is because they're insecure that they're not going to be able to satisfy the woman as well as the other men in the body count actually i'd be more concerned about the fact that your oxytocin receptors have densified to the point where you can't effectively pair bond I I just have one question what did black women do to black men that was so bad what do we do historically that was so bad. We stole our children and used them as pawns for child support. You embarrass us on the daily by not dressing modestly. You talk about our mothers when we disagree with your behavior. You call us homosexual when we assert our masculinity. You lie on us to the world by telling them that we unalive you every five and a half hours. You call the police on us and get us thrown in prison or jail more than anybody else. You disrespect us when we try to bring together our families, which is what you did when you brought up Kevin Samuels in your video. You claim that we're trash and deadbeat fathers even though we are the most involved in our children's lives. You always talking about how we bash you but you never bring up the videos of us doing so. What you would rather do is just say it and then act like the videos we do post about you aren't about your behavior, mannerisms, and characteristics that we wish would change. And now here you are acting like a victim, crying to us. Not to lie to you, I support this. Mo Some men don't have the value to get the things that they want at the end of the day but so go ahead. if you were 40 years old yeah and you sat in a room you had a 20 year old here maybe a 26 year old there yeah and a 34 year old there so you would put that 26 and 34 year old in a category of just i would smash because they're older probably been through more but i would commit to that 20 year old at 40 years old because she hasn't caught a lot of bodies or she hasn't been through no, it's, relationships it's, it's more than that, that when a man me. is choosing right. a woman right <laughs> men are looking for characteristic traits how the woman carries herself the man is looking for a multitude of things right when he's looking for to give to grant a relationship just like y'all women looking for a multitude of things before y'all gonna give a man to because y'all hold the key to we hold the key to relationships so you look for all of these characteristic traits before you spread your legs open to a man cool grant it right all i'm saying is men we look for a multitude of characteristic traits before we grant a relationship to a woman that's all i'm saying so when a when a man in that situation if he's looking at things what would generally without knowing anything generally what would have the highest probability the younger woman would have the highest probability of being pure, being more feminine, being this and this, and uh, being pure where the uh, younger woman hasn't been molded by the world, so she's more uh, uh, able to follow the man's lead. That's what I'm saying. But there could be other things in it. Maybe that 20-year-old uh, came from a broken home and didn't have a father. Maybe the uh, other girl had more of some guidance and, and came from a two-parent household and, and had some values instilled, to her, instilled in her. So he may choose the girl that's 28 over the girl that's 18 because it's just it aligns with what he's looking for better. That's what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, it all comes back to purity. That's what but it all comes back to. you don't think about it as like... Manipulation? Like, no, no. You I'm already saying, I granted that. I granted that both but parties I'm just do saying, that. Because, just because you have a daughter. Tom, can anyone <laughs> understand this? It's not that we're not understanding, and that's why I'm saying you. I feel like when somebody says I don't agree with you, mm -hmm. the first thing out of your mouth is, "Oh, you don't understand. You're lost in emotion." No, I'm allowed to right. agree. Is it to because disagree. we're women and we're lost in emotion? Wait, what? I, like, I just don't disagree with some of the stuff you say, but I understand. I just don't agree. Okay, that's totally fine. But well, um, I said what you that have? I was lost in emotion. I feel like everything. I mean, you were, but go ahead. I'm not. Everything that's being said, like you're automatically on the defense, especially when it comes to her. Like, thank you. You're automatically on the defense, and you keep saying emotion, 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 emotion. Bro. But I feel like you're oh, being yeah, emotional as well. Emotional. You're no, being no, no, emotional no. as well, though. Bro, passion is a form of emotion, right? I'm being passionate about the but things okay that I'm speaking okay, about. It's okay for you to do no, it because no, you're a man, no, no, but if no, she does, no, it's a problem. No, 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 no. And her I'm emotion is being no, 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 listen. And she's no, annoying. Stop it, stop it. Because when I'm speaking, I'm the host of the podcast, and y'all came here for me. She's just creating a whole problem where it ain't got to be a problem, you know, just to sound like she right. 
You feel me? That's 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 the problem with a lot of these females these days, man. Right? What I'm no. saying is this, right? What? We came because we wanted to discuss the pos topic. You came for him. It's his podcast. You came to hear his perspectives debate with him. If you wanted to just discuss topics, you could have did that alone in your house. You also came to get some Instagram followers because he got a nice following. You know, give that man his respect for the platform he's built. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's just respect, man. Okay, and we're all discussing it's not that. Just for you. But listen, no, no, but listen. You, the difference of it, you got to be able to differentiate things. You're trying to say that we're all emotional. Incorrect. I'm saying that I'm passionate and I'm listening to y'all and literally refuting all of your arguments to the point where we're staying on, staying on this topic for so long because I'm listening and then I'm like, okay, let me, you know, be very tactical with this approach and analyze this so I can give a good response and I'm using active listening skills. That's not being emotional. I'm hearing y'all and then giving a response. Man. Some of my responses... I host the podcast. I don't, I'm not these other podcasts that got two hosts. So I got to be charismatic. So what I get is passion and charismaticness. I got to be screaming, hey, doing a little bit of this, hey, this is for the audience. I'm sure the audience is having a good time. What is it, 12 p.m.? And we got over 200 people, 300 people in here right now. What are you talking about? So obviously it's lit. But listen. No, no. <laughs> what? What? It's what time? It's 12 13. It's time for me to eat. Damn. But I have a question, though. I have a question, though. Okay. You, you can tell. <laughs> We can tell you don't miss no meals, man. Uh, real quick, hold your question. Let me just finish up with her because I don't want to be moving all around. Did you have anything else with what you were saying? No, I'm just saying it feels like everything that she's saying and this is how it's coming it. off. But the way you speak to her and how you raise your tone when she's saying something versus when we're all saying something that you might disagree with is very different and i think it's just okay very uncomfortable that, is, that's how it's, it's coming totally off. fine is that's everyone how it's coming got off. it is everyone the same in this room no y'all not the same y'all all gave different responses right and y'all all carried yourself differently even when y'all gave the response right and i don't think anyone really interrupted me during this podcast but her do, can, can we all agree can, can, can I say my can I say my question? It's not really a question. Can I say no, my statement? I don't think I got you. Can I say real it? quick? Let me just finish my statement. I got you. I don't think, and even with that, like she's like, can she say it? And then gotta go. Me and you was always back and forth. All I'm saying is the reason why she's the reason why our dialect is different from y'all dialect, right? Is just because she's different from y'all, and you're she's different from all of y'all. She gives a different. You feel me? He just matching her energy, basically. That's what they say, right? He matching her tone. You feel me? And I mean, that's simple. We all can see it. Ooh. So it's, it's not uh, uh, like y'all looking for all of this equalness. Like females always looking for like equal thing. Well, you're not treating this person equally to this person because y'all different. What do you, I'm not going to treat y'all all equal, like all the same. You're not going to get the. She's giving me different responses. So she's going to get a different response back. Go ahead. It's, all right. But I, I get that. I get that whole scenario. Got, okay, got you. Right? you got something else. And I get everything that you're saying, but I do feel like you cannot sit here and act like you're completely a saint because you're literally inter like interrupting each and every. Right. I mean, I haven't really spoken because I I can get disrespectful, but like you literally interrupted every single person here, but you did like interrupt her more. Right? Correct. But that's not my he point. Out correct. That, that's not. But that's not my point, yeah, right? But you're telling other people to stop talking for you, but you won't stop talking for them. And I get that you're the host. Respect. Thank you for having me here. It's gorgeous. Okay. But like, appreciate that. I definitely feel like you <laughs> you should be treating everybody like they're a human. Yeah, yeah. You I know am. what I mean. Uh, but do so you like, believe in a hierarchy? I mean, like a human. What? I, mean, I don't know what they're talking about. Nor, no, I don't care. I don't okay. care for that. So, I feel no, like no, you and totally me fine. are the same. It doesn't matter the gender, the race, yeah. no, no, the age difference. Yeah. I don't care about none of that. It, it, no. I definitely feel like, though, everybody should be treated equal. Yeah. If she's it talking, doesn't... I'm going to let her talk. I don't care if this is my house or I got whoever's house. I got you. Life just doesn't operate like that, ladies. So this is podcast is called No Fugazi, right? And this podcast on No Fugazi, uh, the world, everything is a hierarchy in life. I'm sure she understands the hierarchy a little bit because she was in the Navy. So she understands that she got to report to this person. This person is above this person. That person is above that person. And it's a hierarchy to things based off accomplishments, competence, and all of these other factors that's involved in it, right? Oh, excuse so, me. so let me finish and answer your question, right? The reason, the, the reason why 
it's like this is because this is my podcast so i am on the top of the hierarchy so if i have to interrupt someone it isn't i always give it back just like i gave it back to her when i interrupt her or if you interrupt her I'm like let her finish her point it was mad times when she interrupted me i didn't kick her off i still let her finish her point and i was like wait elaborate on that speak a little bit more even if i'm interrupting because we have to have the dialogue right you feel what i'm saying so me interrupting is me doing my job and you have to respect the hierarchy but the fact is that audience i need oh, girl, y'all love, <laughs> take some notes on this women in general don't really know how to respect any hierarchy that's why it's hard for them to follow a man's lead because they okay, can't respect can, any type of hierarchy but you can at least say excuse me you know, you know, you know, you know, i do respect my husband you got the ring i do respect i do respect my husband but he would never ever talk to me however you're talking to these ladies right now he would never i respect him he's higher than me because he's the man of the house he is the breadwinner he is the father of our children but i would never sit here and not allow him to not say excuse me baby can you let me talk real quick or excuse me can you let me speak real quick yeah, there's yeah, respect yeah, in the hierarchy yeah, 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 you can't yeah, yeah. expect and respect when you don't give it out so i understand why she's snapping on you because you're mm -hmm. not even saying like all right whatever you're not even gonna let her be dead wrong at yeah, all all right whatever what do you mean you don't even let her be dead wrong. Dead wrong. Oh, you mean like if she says something right. and she's dead wrong then yeah, i just but leave even it? at that like you're still no, being no, no, like listen baby girl listen if that's not you're looking for something that's not that right and the thing is what you're looking for something that is like that's not a uh, 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 masculinity you're looking for something that says the go along to get along podcast this podcast ain't called you're giving me to toxic listen i got you let me finish i will yeah this podcast isn't the go <laughs> and chat uh this is good the ladies is you know questioning how the podcast is being ran and stuff like that but this podcast isn't the go along to get along podcast you think that i'm going to allow someone to walk in something to what i created i have men on here that i speak to with them much worse pull up my debates i had a man in here and i'm calling this dude feminine in his face I don't hold anything back the same energy i give to y'all i give to another man so, so are you higher different. than all wait i'm sorry are you higher what? than all what do you mean higher than you're, all uh, obviously i feel like you the hierarchy thing you're saying so you're what type of question is, am i higher than all <laughs> what? oh my god what is one? Oh, lord have mercy lord help us Higher than other men because they're feminine. You're no, higher no, than no. us no, because no, 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 it's your no. podcast. I, I didn't just say that. I'm just telling you that. But I'm asking. how I'm speaking to y'all is the same way that I will speak to another man. I don't think that I'm higher than anyone. I believe in a higher power, right? And I respect people. And I respect the hierarchy myself. If there's another man, I have other did podcasts with other guys that know things more than i do in different areas or different fields and i respect it if i don't know something i'm gonna sit back and listen and get that game right if i don't know it but if i do know something and they saying something that is very nonsensical and false that ain't gonna fly has with that been me. her though who who has she that just been? said i can't I'm, it's I'm, been a lot of y'all on the podcast okay, but i'm talking about her perceived like what about her? her you just said she's chilling and she's fine right now what about her what big ass word did this no, man just said, use said, <laughs> what big ass Nonsensical. Okay, yeah. So was false. that her? So everything okay. that she said is that no, is no, what no. she's saying was that? Everything that most of the ladies here, y'all had points of contention and uh, of things that I said, and I had to, uh, you know, give a rebuttal and refute some of the arguments. Meaning, refute you make a claim, and then I make a claim that supersedes the claim you make, and then you don't like my claim. You may understand it, but you don't like it. So it's like, well, I'm not gonna accept it. So I agree to disagree. That's totally fine. And what was my response? Well, you're just, you gotta take out your emotions from it. And then what would y'all say? Well, we're not being emotional. Well, you're emotional too then. I'm saying that, no, 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 baby girl. The truth is the truth. Whether if, if someone says one plus one equals two, or one plus one equals F and two, it's still, two at the end of the day it's not about how you say things mm -hmm. it's what is being said mm -hmm. now we all know that human beings are emotional so yeah how something is said may affect that person where well, that person got a weakness if this person can't see the truth is very simple if the truth is here right and if the truth when you get the truth it can uh alter your worldview by accepting the truth and then lead you on a better path the people that accept the truth go on a better path they are successful in their endeavors the people that get the truth but oh i don't want to accept it i can't take it it's too emotional their emotions fog them from the truth then they go on the wrong path so i'm saying i'm giving y'all game if you want to take the wrong path go ahead if you want to take the right path by any means good for you
I that I other stripper on his podcast, like I said, she was same things I was saying to her. I was way worse than than the things I, that I said to this other girl was crazy. It was it was much right, worse. Like I was said that. Wait, what? She never said she was a stripper. No, but we already, we already no, clarified no, we that. Already but my problem is, that. is that he keeps on referring back to that like she's not a human being. And aren't right. you a mother? Can we talk like, about how she's a mother instead of calling her just a stripper? Like, well, my only really, thing was he said what? he's talking like that because of hierarchy. So from what from what I'm hearing, it seems like I'm lowest on the Hold hierarchy up, Steve, here. Real quick. Yo, how the chats in there? Uh, should I get to the super chat? When I ask that question, we redirect it. Okay, okay. Point proven. Point proven. Yeah, let's get to the. Well, you already said what you said. You. No, it. I just asked you a different question. And I answered that question again. That's did, I, I never answered did. that question? I no, all I asked, so I'm the lowest on the hierarchy right now. No, no one said that. What are you no, talking that, about? That was the question I just asked. I just asked. Have your water. Yeah, but no one said, said that. You were, something. No, I, oh. I, I'm <laughs> asking a question. I said, you said Steve, switch you were your own speaking car? to us based on Not the, the hierarchy me. system. No, no, I didn't say that. So you weren't active listening. No, I was, but you said a lot. So I'm right. trying to understand no, no, what I, you're trying I, to say. Got you. So what oh, I said that when I talked about? about the hierarchy, I was I was referring to when she was talking about cutting people off. Yeah. She said, "Well, we're being when you're cutting us off, and mm -hmm. you're cutting us off more than we're cutting you off, and you're cutting her off more than you're cutting us off." And then I had to explain the hierarchy to things. I said that, "Well, guess what? Everyone, I'm here because this is my podcast, and y'all are under, right? And then we got to speak about who's saying the most nonsensical and illogical things, and, she and also you, interrupting. I asked you, was no, it and listen, and also interrupting. I said." Uh, well, yeah, because that question she asked was like so nonsensical. That's in the word I'm gonna put in my uh vocabulary nonsensical, Lord, bro. This has been one of the most nonsensical debates probably I've watched on his show, bro. With these, oh my god, bro. It's simple, it was her, so that's why she was getting a different energy and different verbiage from me. Y'all saying that. At the end, bro, it's yeah, like what the heck, y'all? We was on this for that long, and at the end of the day, how long is this, this shows it very, very clearly. Uh, women don't know how to really take guidance from a masculine man, it's you because know, okay, was being you know, influenced you incorrect. Man. You just said yourself okay, you were feminine. At, wait, what? When then did this I whole ever time say you that? kept saying that you lack. You like masculinity no, from no not going over said that. No, that's different. I said that before in the beginning. No one's talking about now. I'll talk about every man, any man. To become a man, when you're freaking 18, <clears throat> so 17 years old, you think that you are as masculine when if you actually learn from your mistakes as when you're 35 years old? No. It takes time to acquire value and time to acquire <laughs> masculinity and a multitude of other things. To be fair, so I'm not saying any of that. But let me get to these super. I'm sorry. Go wait, ahead. You got a question? To, go yeah, no. I just want to make a comment. To be fair, I don't think because you can raise your voice and and speak your opinion very loudly that that you're masculine. In, in my opinion, I think you sitting here to me, you come off to me very feminine. Sure, great. And very I'm sassy. Sure, I'm, That's why you nobody here is respectful. Exactly, because you're not respectable. I mean, you're not respectable. I mean, the way you, you talk to women to is me. disgusting. Like, well, I mean, if you want to go, you can go. Disgusting. Well, like, yeah. I mean, you're masculine. You're fat. You're, you're overweight. And me. hey, it is what it is. That's <laughs> a masculine trait. Uh, being, being. <laughs> you're fat. You're overweight, bro. That guy, your man. <laughs> Hey, he said you're fat, you're overweight and masculine. <laughs> no. Being big. <laughs> That's a masculine trait. Peace. Peace. Let's get this on. Let's get this on recording. Peace, ladies. Get up out of here. See see the door. Not you. Get up out of here. See the leaving. That's so see the, It's right there, right on the couch. That get get out of here. That's the, so get up out of here. Sweet. It's giving sweet. Oh, and she threw stuff. Oh, and she threw stuff. It's giving sweet. We got that. <laughs> get, get up out of here, little fat old beast, John. <laughs> man, they got, man, they start throwing stuff. Man, hey, they wildin'. That's funny. That's funny, man. Hey, tell me what y'all think about that video in the comments, man. Hey, see you guys next video, man. Let's get it.